Hey, what's up guys? My name is Shargai and welcome back to another tech tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a virtual box. Now this will work both on PC and Mac, but basically we've got a virtual box running here. Uh, basically what it is, is it's a computer running within a computer. So like, let's say I'm on Windows and I want to do something in Linux, but I don't want to fully install another Linux distro on my computer. I can just boot it up on a virtual machine. Another great use for this, if you are on a Mac and you want to do some of my Windows tutorials, you can just boot up a virtual box, install Windows on it, and you're good to go. So today I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows on one of these virtual boxes. If you want me to show you guys how to install uh, Linux or any other software, let me know in the comments below and I will be down to do that. But without a further ado, let's just jump into it. So let's get super medic here. I'm going to do the whole tutorial in this virtual box just because I don't want to have to uninstall virtual box on my main machine. So what first I'm going to do is we're going to install virtual box. As you can tell, I did not prepare for this. So let's just go Oracle VM virtual box. So this is what you're going to want. So let's download virtual box 5.2 windows. All right. So once it finishes installing, basically just run the setup installer. Run, run, run. All right, cool. Let's go to next. Uh, you don't want all of this, so let's go to next. Um, I'm gonna turn this. Actually, I'm gonna keep that on. Next. Yes. Install. Yes. All right. So once you're doing that, you're gonna open up VirtualBox. All right, back on the main machine. Uh, the next thing we're going to need in order to set up a virtual box is an ISO file. Now, because Windows is a big bully, they require you to download this tool in order to get their ISO files. It's really lame. So just download the tool. I've already gone ahead and done that. You're going to hit accept. Wait for it to do its thing. All right. So once it's finished, you're going to do create installation media, USB flash drive, DVD, or ISO file. Next, uh, just keep that English minus 10, 64 bit is important. ISO file. All right, let me save this to my desktop. Now I actually already have it, so I don't need that. So basically once you have that saved, it's time to start working on installing Windows. So we're going to go to new. I'll name this institute. You can name it whatever. Microsoft Windows. Choose your Windows distro. Did I just say distro? Windows version. I'm going to go Windows 10 64 bit. Uh, I would go 2048. Uh, but I'm going to increase it just because I can. You can increase it to whatever you want. Uh, create virtual hard disk. VDI. I normally just use dynamically allocated. Cause like the way I like to describe this is like, if you're making a mo like a video and you add one clip, it makes the size of the file that big. But if you add more clips, it makes it bigger. And that's what dynamically allocated it is. But thick size, let's say it's 64 bit, 64 gigabytes. It'll keep it at 64 gigabytes rather than expanding when needed. So it just gives you a bunch of other space. If that makes any sense, hopefully it does. I'm going to make mine 16 gigs just because I don't really need to use this for anything. Next, I'm gonna go settings, system, processor. I'm gonna crank this up. Uh, make sure it's in the green. Acceleration, you know it's not under there. Go to display, enable 2D video acceleration. Um, storage, okay, this is the part we're gonna add our ISO. So go to empty, uh, go to this disk, and you're gonna go to choose virtual, uh, uh, whatever, please choose a virtual optical, optical disk file. It's your ISO file, you're going to choose that. For me, I'm just going to choose my Windows 10. I already have it installed. Okay, and start. All right, so I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Now, you'll notice how this doesn't expand all the way. We're going to fix that later, so don't worry. All right, boom. So we've uh, booted up into the installation pane. So we're going to hit next, install. All right, uh, now if you have a Windows product key, you can put this in. I don't, so I'm gonna choose, I don't have a product key. It doesn't really do anything, because you can kind of get around it. 
Okay, so you're gonna wanna choose Windows 10 Home. Do not choose Windows 10 S because that's gonna prevent you from installing anything unless you want a system like that. I'm personally gonna just use Home. That's really all I need. Uh, accept, I'm not gonna read it because I'm lazy. Okay, you're gonna wanna go to Custom, select Drive Zero, hit Next. Just let this do its thing. This may take a bit, so just be patient. All right, don't press anything again. Hi there, I'm right, Cortana, I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. She's like really a little annoying. sign in here, so, a touch of Wi-Fi uh, there, and we'll have your PC ready for because... all you plan to do. Yeah. So let me get my mic. Oh gosh. Sorry, my mic keeps falling off, so just like ignore that. Alright, so I'm gonna choose United States. You just choose whatever country in, US. Skip. So now it's gonna look for updates. Just let it do its thing. All right, so I personally don't like to sign in with Microsoft on these accounts and on like a virtual box. So I just prefer to go to offline account. It's gonna bother you and tell you to sign in with Microsoft. Just hit no. Um, I'll put a name, just like Terry. Uh oh, I meant to do it, but that's okay. Uh let's do no to Cortana because Okay. So all of this, you could want to turn it all off. Don't let it like give you like Microsoft's recommended things. They're just gonna steal basically all your stuff. So just turn everything off. Okay, so it's gonna just set up all your stuff. So just let it do its thing. This may take a bit, so just be patient with it. Oh, okay, boom. So now we're into Windows. So let's close out of this because Internet Explorer sucks. So let's go into Devices and insert Guest Edition CD image. Now it should. Sometimes it'll pull up a thing, it'll just hit run. For me, we're just gonna go in here manually because it's not working. Let's open this. x86, yes. Uh oh. Oh, wait, no, I meant to run AMD64. My bad. Next, next, next. All right, so basically, this is just gonna allow you to do stuff. It'll make it run a lot faster and a lot smoother. And it'll also adjust the resolution as well. So when you expand and retract the screen, it adjusts the um, reboot now. It adjusts, it'll adjust the uh, resolution accordingly. It's really useful and it'll make your virtual box seem a lot snappier. Now, if you're doing things like, if you're like, for some reason, like doing like tech support, calling tech support people and putting them on the virtual box, you might not want to install it just because then they can tell it's a virtual machine. So the way you know it's installed, just go here and you'll see it. So basically now I can just kind of expand it and it'll adjust the resolution accordingly. Uh, now what you can also do is do devices, drag and drop, bi-directional. And let's just make this regular size. And I can drag an image back and forth it's great. This is really good, especially if you're like testing stuff. So yeah, that's basically it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Uh, in the next part of the series, 
Let me know if you want some more parts. I'll show you guys how to do Linux and Mac OS. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.